Hello guys and welcome back to another video in Kerber Space Program. This is Mods Episode 5 and today we are playing the Rump Forest Laser System mod. So if you go to the Science tab you'll find all the parts to this mod. Now for the laser system to work you need to choose just one of these parts that I'm hovering over. One of the laser system parts. Now I'm currently using the laser system and it's placed right there. Now each one of these lasers has a unique color and a unique feature. So the blue laser is one that I haven't touched on, but if you want to find out what it does, go ahead and download the mod and try it itself. <laughs> the green laser is for adding an object within a certain radius to the target tab, and it does it by shooting out a laser. The magenta laser is for hovercrafts, and that is something I'll show later on. The red laser is a garden system, and then we have the yellow laser, which is by far my favorite laser because it is used for propulsion. Alrighty guys, so if you look on the top right hand corner, you'll see a little GUI. If you click here, a laser will play. I should have said laser sound. But anyway, you click the arrow and then you will see support, teleport out, a nice GUI. Now what you can do is if I double click an object, right, another ship that we have down there, and I click the arrow, the Kerbal will teleport. And check it out. He teleported out. Pretty cool. Now, I can do the same thing. I can teleport back in. Check it that. Check it out. Check it out. Oof. Nice. So that's one uh, very unique feature. Now, to get a move on, there is something called a target cam. You click that, you can see the target that we just selected. That one all the way down there. So, yeah. And you can zoom in. So you even have the zoom in feature there. As you can see, there is night vision, so during the night we can see green, inverted, we've got thermal, so I'm fairly sure we should be able to see a Kerbal with this thermal and far away in silhouette, which is very terrible, I don't like silhouette. Anyway, so let's go ahead and start flying this thing, and we're going to click subsystems, and then you'll see the red color here, that color, the red represents the color of the lasers. Right, so the red laser is red here. So if you click that, you see this uh, GUI. Now what you want to do is click select on map, and we want to choose our destination, where we want to go. And it will automatically fly to the to the, our destination. So what I want to do is go to Red Rock Valley, and then click M, and then click fly to coordinates. And there we go. It seems like we are flying. Now you can turn off SAS now, everything seems to be stable. Uh, you can also adjust the pitch and the altitude. So what I'm going to do is change the, that a little bit. Click automatic pitch and everything will adjust. So that is really, really interesting. It's MechJab really, but a, more, a better GUI in my opinion. I like it. You do have achievements as well by killing Kerbals and other stuff. Uh, everything will show here. Parameters, just a whole bunch of details, and not, nothing really too fancy. But um, what we're going to do now is test out the yellow laser. Uh, as I said, it is my favorite laser by far. Now, what we're going to do is... Um, I'm going to turn this all the way down first of all. It is very buggy, or well, the sound is buggy. And, well, you, you'll hear for yourself. Anyway, you guys get the point. <laughs> so what happens is these yellow lasers, they shoot out liquid fuel, right? And the explosion happens outside the aircraft. Theoretically, that shouldn't happen, but it happens anyway. So, yeah, because really, if an explosion happened outside the aircraft, the aircraft would d be damaged inst instantly, really. So that's one thing. You can do resource transfer as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the altitude here. We want to go down, we're getting the re-entry heat. Funny enough, even the lasers are getting re-entry heat. So there, that's that's really interesting. Oh, okay, that, that's a failure. So let's go ahead and change the altitude again. Everything should adjust by itself. So let's, let's first of all turn off these engines. That should help us out. There we go. And let's fast forward a little bit. Everything should stabilize. And it has pretty much stabilized. 
as you can see. So now we're going to throttle up a little bit. Now the reason why we just uh, flamed out there is because I'm using the radio air intake, only two of them. Otherwise I would have used the ram air jet intake thingamajiggies. <laughs> Alright, so where is it taking us? Oh, we passed our destination. That's great. Let's increase the altitude and the the angle as well. Oh, let's go to spam it a little bit. More. More. No. Okay, I hope we don't die. We should be fine. Should be. Now you can do a resource, a resource transfer. Uh, you don't have to be physically connected to do the transfer. Um, so <laughs> you can transfer fuel, electric charge through space. And if I just click it, you can see everything. So here we go. We have electric tra charge, liquid fuel, intake air, which is really interesting. Transfer into intake air, electric charge again. That's pretty much it. No RCS. Um, but oh well, right? It's you know, <laughs> to be able to transfer intake air is pretty interesting. Now we're going to undo that, and then we're going to click the afterburner. We're going to max it out, actually, and it seems as though the angle in which we are heading to is quite high. Let's go fix that up. Let's change that to 90, 91, all right. And look at that perfection. So we can go out of space with this thing using the afterburner effect. Now it is loud. Um, I've actually turned down my sound all the way, well, before I did. And the afterburner was still playing, that's why I said it was buggy. Um, I hope that does get fixed soon enough. And we are, we appear to be turning a little bit. Let's go ahead and decrease the altitude. Alright, we failed again, we've burnt out, flamed out. My bad. And let's change that to 21. And fast forward time up a little bit. And we'll play around with the invert thermal. And the invert is not bad. Night vision works, but you can still see fairly clearly and normal. So, there we go. Oh, oh, let's turn that off. This thing has to stabilize. Alright, slowly throttle up. And, okay. I don't want to turn on the afterburner now. Let's change our destination. So, let's go down there and see how long it takes us to get there. So we're going to be quite low on the ground there. What I'm going to do is add a 9 there. And that does fix things. So we'll be going up. So anyway guys, you guys, <laughs> you get the point. What did we just lose? Oh, we just lost the engines. That's that's great. Interesting. Yeah, we ran out of fuel, but funny enough, I right click this tank and with well, a fuselage and it still says we have fuel, but down here it doesn't say it says we don't have fuel. And I'm not using cheats, and I did check it briefly. So I'm not too sure what's going on there, but oh well. It seems to work, and if I turn that on. Yeah, let's right click this. Any fuel being drained? No. Hmm, interesting. Infinite fuel for the win, I guess. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and try out the hovercraft feature now. Alrighty, guys, so now we are going to go ahead and try out the hovercraft feature. So, which is the magenta colored lasers. So, as you can see, we have the lasers here already planted there. Alright, all around the, the rocket here. I'm going to click subsystem. I see the magenta color. I click that because I know it's for the magenta colored lasers and then you will see these arrows here now what you want to do is make sure that the arrows or the lasers are actually pointing downwards and you'll see why in a moment so point that all the way down okay now we want to we want to click hover and then click the hover button stabilizer and then click up click that arrow and now we are hovering. Yeah. Very simple. And this is just other stuff to stabilize yourself. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, hover. Interesting, isn't it? Now, even if I spam this, um, it, it won't work. Oh, it won't actually take you all the way up. All the way up. 
Okay. As you can see, we are slowing down now. That means the hovering is not it's not working. It's not pushing us. Um, the lasers don't reach. There's a certain uh, distance that these lasers can reach and, and work. Like, currently, they are not working. But if you notice, like, if I move this thing onto an angle, SAS, just turn off that stabilizer. Now, we're, gonna, we're actually moving up now because we, we just went down and now we're moving up because the lasers started operating at a certain distance. So if I fast forward this, have a look at that. Notice how we're jumping up and down. Look at that. It's like a bunny. Yeah, pretty much. And it's a little bit unstable, but I guess turning on the stabilizer might help. Maximum force. There we go. Yeah, that seems to do the job. And we can continue moving like this, jumping up and down. So where do you want to go? And it does use a lot of electricity, this thing. So beware of that. Well, all these lasers use electricity. So I highly recommend you guys to have some sort of uh, electric generating thing. And this mod does let you generate electricity as well. But I haven't really touched on that aspect yet. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, that will be it. We're going to end this episode with a bang, hopefully. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.